Hey guys, I'm gonna show you something I did on my truck. If y'all are needing a little extra length or space on your mirror, that's what you want to do right there. Now, I have uh, done this and I'm gonna be showing you how to do the other half here. And I want you guys to know that out of picking about 15 different batteries from tool battery makers, that is the only one that I can give an ounce of credit to. And if you want some of these or you wanna know where I got them at, you go to the specs. It's pretty clear right there, 54 watt, 3000 milliamp, pretty good, three amp hours. And Power Extra, man, I get these off of Amazon. They're awesome, I'll put you a link down there. Look in my description or upload date area. But I am actually proud that I finally found a damn battery that don't fail. They make them from Milwaukee, DeWalt, everything. So, and this is a Porter cable, so. I love NICAD, I really prefer it over lithium after having a trailer burned to the ground, but I really prefer that battery. Um, let's get over here and I'm gonna show you what I'm working on. Has y'all ever had one of these, or do you have a set of mirrors like this? They might be a little different and it's always the same thing. They make them just long enough. Boy, you're like, man, if that was at another inch, it'd make all the difference in the world. Well, and you're, you're, you would like it to be just a little further out because if you're towing something like this big trailer right there, man, it just, it just don't see around these 101, 103. This is a 103 wide trailer. This is the last of the, uh, what they call the super wides but there's still a lot of them out there and some of them with slides on the side they don't go 100 percent flush and you know what i'm talking about if you halt stuff you know what i mean here so what i've done here is i'm using my original but you can do this with just about any one of these uh mirror sets and let me show you what i got over here other than Anna May watching me what i did is i just took a bunch of self-tapping machine screws and a piece of angle so my center was right here see that lines are at now i'm out two and an, and three eighths inches further out and you talk about a drastic difference seeing down the line of that trailer now my mirror is at the halfway point instead of being about right here where y'all can just barely catch it out of this side of my mirror so we have really heavily improved the outcome of towing and just for about a I don't know, a dollar and a half worth of uh, one by one quarter angle. Uh, it doesn't look too bad, and I can color these to make them look like they match. But the, the mirror still swings in if I want to swing it in. So it's, it doesn't change anything, but it gives me just a little more, and it's still within the legal limits. And what I did is I purposely shot past a good solid inch and a quarter so that, you know, anything would try not to hit the mirror, try to block that a little bit from things hitting near the hardware of the mirror. So I'll show you how I got that done here. And it's just a matter of using this type of a self-tapping machine screw. So you'll see it's slightly tapered edge, has a serration on it that gets it started. And you just have to find a drill bit that is the size of the shaft of the, um, of the screw, of the machine screw, just the shaft size of it. And drill that out and then using a just a slightly larger drill bit for where your screw will have some moment uh, a little bit of open space you drill your angle that size after you've drilled both of them with this size so i'll show you what i got here all right now what i've done here is i have my five and a half yeah this is just a five and a half inch long piece of angle and i marked it to where i want my screws to go and the hole here is going to be covered and you see that mark right here that denotes where the hole is at. So I'll have one screw on that side and then three of them, you know, moved around offset from each other on this side. And we'll do that real quick drill out on it. And I'll show you how we set it up for uh, mounting it in. And I mean, some of you guys have different mirrors completely, but moving them out another inch is shockingly better than the factory settings on a lot of them. And I don't know why. I, I have friends of mine with horse trailers that have came out and we have redone all of it to where their mirror come out another inch and a half and they were just absolutely amazing difference so uh, in this one's case you'll see the shot down the trailer and how the difference is there's a center point here and it just literally puts the mirror where a third of the mirror can see past that trailer pulling straight down the highway we're going to make it to where it's half plus to see down it so let's get that 
All right, now with the drill, as I showed you the, the, the uh, piece of metal we're working with, I have clamped it down and I am using this starter bit right here that is exactly the size I need for these little screws, machine starter screws down here. And they are driven by 5 16 so I have 5 16 All right, so by starting out, you're gonna mount your metal and clamp it well exactly where you want it because you're gonna drill through the holes, drill through the metal. And you're gonna go ahead and make all the holes you need while it's still clamped. And then when you're done, when you're, when you're done with this, now this is through aluminum, so you get a lot of bits in there. When you're done, you're going to take this metal back off and you're gonna to go to your next level bit up that's a little bit bigger than that screw so you have a little bit of room for it to move around. Aluminum expands and contracts. Both of these two pieces are aluminum. So when this expands and contracts a little bit, you don't want to shear off your screw. That's, that's the reason that there's always like a 128th larger space on the holes of something aluminum mounting to something else if it is machine screw or in some cases even riveted so that it don't shear off your materials when one contracts more than the other. Now I'm going to take that loose so I can drill these, get these screws in, and then we will get the rest of it put in and I'll show you that mirror mounted just like the other side over there. All right. All right. So I got a dab of that welder glue inside the threads on in, inside the inside the mirror's base. And we're going to go right over here. And just like normal, we're going to mount the mirror and we're going to put the bolt in. And then I'll show you the finished work on that. Okay, now you see the finalized uh, view of that. And if you wonder why these that color, where it's the kind of hard metal they are, like I'd said earlier, that they are black for a reason. You can paint them. Uh, just wrap everything up around here and just hit them with a little shot of uh, spray paint, galvanized or aluminum spray paint. Wheel paint works great. But now we see a huge difference when that mirror was right here in the center. It's now out two and three eighths inches further out, which to some people might not be a lot, but when you're thinking about that wide body trailer being hauled back there, the other mirror was just right here and very insufficient for that. Very difficult when you're going up over hills and making some short turns. It was a pain in the ass to back up with, you couldn't see, so now, and it's no further out than some of your heavily extended mirrors. Most of those go out up to 19 inches. This is still only out 15 inches. So not that big a deal. Uh, it's not gonna get caught in anything more than it would have before. So guys, I hope that helps you out. Um, instead of buying expensive mirrors, you can just kind of look at a way to fix your own, okay? All right, thanks, man. Y'all be good.